Hello, Phil Thatch here, and today I am going to compare some microphones and I'm going to talk about how noisy F-mount lenses are if you're using the FTZ adapter, which is the only way I can use my Z6 because I haven't purchased any Z-mount lenses yet. I'm waiting for the 20 millimeter 1.8 to be my first Z-mount, but so far all I have is F-mount lenses and I have some really great ones. Right now I'm using the 14 to 24 2.8 and I'm using uh, this is a brand new, I just got it, just came in today, this Boya Lavalier uh, microphone that I purchased. And uh, I did a whole video comparing the sound of this microphone and the internal microphones and the Rode Video Micro. And then I found out that I, I was using the automatic settings. And for this microphone, if you use the automatic settings on the Z6, it completely blows it out. So... Um, to make the comparison fair, I'm doing them all manual and I've, I've adjusted them all to where they should have fairly similar audio levels. Um, that took a five for this microphone and the internal mic and the Rode Video Micro both are going to be on 10. So what we're trying to do is see if you can hear uh, noise from the lenses autofocusing. The, the uh, F-mount lenses make a lot of noise when they autofocus on the F to Z adapter. So I'm gonna move forward and back. I can hear the lens making a lot of noise, but I wonder if this mic, especially now that it's uh, adjusted to five, where it's not just blowing it, everything out in terms of audio, I wonder if you can hear that noise. My girlfriend's looking at the audio meters and she's indicating that they're not moving around too much, if at all. Not at all. Hello. Okay, so that is the Boya Lavalier microphone that I got for $20 from Amazon. I will put a link in the description. And now we'll try another microphone. Okay, so now this is the Rode Video Micro, which is a, a nice, uh, it mounts on your hot shoe. It has a, a, a nice um, vibration dampener. So if your camera's bouncing around, if you bump into the camera, it, it doesn't make uh, noise on your video. But the question for today is, does that microphone pick up the sound of the lens focusing this F-mount? noisy lens focusing. So I'm going to move closer. It's definitely making some noise. Are we showing up on the meters? Nothing showing on the meters. We will check it when we play it back and see if it's audible. But I can definitely Hear that lens focusing for sure. Okay, so next we'll try the internal microphone. So let me stop it. Okay, so now I'm using the internal microphones. This is also on level 10. Appeared to be uh, in some brief testing. It appeared to be the best level. I'm doing them all manually, so it's fair. Uh, and another thing, you know, with it automatic, uh, when I stop talking, it might become more sensitive and pick up the lens noise even more. So. So I think manual settings is the way to go. So let's move forward and back and see. Heather's indicating that she can see movement on the meters with the internal microphones. I feel like I'm in the world's slowest workout video. Okay, so now we're back on the Boya Lavalier microphone. And uh, what we're gonna do now is take the files, put them on the computer and listen to them, and then uh, give you our conclusions. And you probably already have made your conclusions because you've been watching the video. So uh, let's try that, we'll be right back with you. Okay, so remember the noise problem with the focusing is only on adapted F-mount lenses. A Z-mount lens is supposed to be very, very quiet. I haven't experienced it myself, but that's what's supposed to be the deal. So I'm hoping to get a Z-mount lens at some point. Hopefully I'll pick up the 20 millimeter F1.8 prime when it comes out. 
But until then, I'll work with these fantastic F-mount lenses and their noisy autofocus. Okay, well, Heather and I just got back from listening to the files that you just heard, and it seemed pretty obvious to me, at least, that the microphones in the camera itself picked up the noise from the F-mount lenses the most, and the Rode Video Micro uh, picked them up the second most, although I thought the Rode Video Microphone's audio sounded terrible. Uh, worse even than the stock microphones built into the camera. But this little guy, the Boya Lavalier, seemed to uh, sound the best and it picked up the noise of the noisy F-mount lenses the worst. So uh, I think this for $20 is a winner. Uh, bear in mind though, don't forget, if you just plug this thing in and use the automatic uh, input level, it's going to be too hot and uh, there was a lot of distortion. We had to do this, in we did this whole video and now we're having to do the whole video again because this sounded terrible. But when you drop it down to, it's set, set at five now, uh, I, I think it sounds pretty good. You can be the judge, you're hearing it right now. Uh, and I'll put a link to this in the description and we appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and enjoy your Nikon Z-Series camera. Have a great day.